Hey guys, so I wanted to come on here today and give you an update because if you saw my post that I put on YouTube and or Instagram, then you've probably been wondering what's going on. Um, by the way, thank you so much to everyone who left so much love and support and kindness in the comments section um, of my YouTube video and on my Instagram post. I really appreciate it. You have no idea when you are going through some kind of a health issue and, you know, people leave kind words of love and support. It means so much and it really helps, I think, uh, you know, sending positive uh, thoughts in the way of um, anyway. So let me go back to a week ago tomorrow, a week back tomorrow, yeah, last Tuesday, um, I was filming that Lilac Lane video, yeah, the Lilac Lane video, and I started getting these horrible pains in my stomach. I mean, it was so bad that I didn't think I was going to be able to finish filming that video. You probably wouldn't be able to tell by watching the video, but I was in excruciating pain. And I was determined that I was going to finish that video no matter what. Um, so I had to shut the camera off actually a couple times and just come back in a few minutes and try to regain my composure. And um, so after I finished making that video and uploading it to YouTube, um, I was not really sure what to do about my situation. But then I almost passed out and I threw up. And I said, oh my God, there is something seriously wrong here. This isn't just like a typical stomach ache. I called my husband and I told him, come home. I want you to take me to the emergency room. So he left work. He came home, brought me to the hospital, and we were there all day. Because I don't know if you've ever been to the emergency room, but it takes forever for them to figure out what's wrong with you and then to advise you what the next step should be. So while I was there, uh, they ran a bunch of tests and they gave me a bunch of drugs that I've never taken before. And um, so they gave me an EKG. They gave me a CAT scan. They did a urine analysis. They did a blood analysis. And when I first got there, they, of course, did blood pressure or temperature, you know, the basic stuff. And um, they ended up coming back at the, uh, let's put it this way. I think we got there around 10 o'clock and we left there about three o'clock. So we were there for one, two, three, four, five hours it took for them to figure out what was going on. So when I first got there, the doctor saw me, he talked to me, he listened to what I had to say, and I also gave him some more information, but I don't want this video to be too long, so I'm not going to, you know, tell him all every little thing that I told him about my symptoms. And then um, at three o'clock, he came back and he said, okay, I got the results of your tests that we've done, and you have a kidney stone. And he said, it's five millimeters, which is pretty good size. Um, so it's between like, I guess it's considered a medium to large stone. And it was five point something. I forget the exact number. All I remembered was the five because I was in so much pain. Um, and... He said, uh, due to its location and size, it's not likely that you're going to pass this. But he said, you know, nothing is out of the realm of possibility. So they gave me this um, plastic thing to put on the toilet 
that collects your urine and then there's like a filter thing on top of it so every time you pee you have to lift up that filter thing and look and see if there's anything in there you know a stone and um, because now I have an appointment tomorrow at the uh, urology center which is right down the street from the hospital I went to and they're gonna I'm not really sure what is going to go on at that appointment because I don't know but they're probably just going to go over all my tests and results and um, you know we'll talk about what to probably do from there I think it's a consultation because um, I'm not uh, too keen on the two options that I would have procedural wise the first one would be to break it up with ultrasound uh, sound waves um, and I think they use a laser to do that I think they break it up with a laser I don't know I, I haven't had my appointment yet so I don't know the details but I know the two options are breaking it up into smaller pieces and then passing the smaller pieces which is much easier than passing a larger piece that can get stuck and the other option would be surgery where they go in I think with uh, I think they make an incision somewhere and then go in with a catheter and um, find the stone and extract it that way I think that's how they do it like I said I haven't had my appointment yet so I'm not positive but I don't really like the sounds of either one of those because I'd heard about that sound wave thing before and to me that sounded great like oh great they're just gonna break it up with sound waves no problem oh yeah it's supposed to be very painful and you have to be anesthetized to some degree and depending on a lot of things they might put you out even you might have to go in the hospital or if there's other criteria going on I guess they might be able to do it at their office with other kinds of uh, anesthesia I don't know I guess like I said I'll find out the details tomorrow after I talk to the person that I'm talking to and um, so I don't like the sounds of either one of these obviously the invasive surgery one that's going to mean a longer hospital stay. Now for those of you that are new to my channel you may not know this I had a stroke a year ago last May something about the month of May I don't know it's a bad month for me very unlucky and um, I was in the hospital for two days after I had a stroke and I was really lucky when I got out of the hospital I made a full recovery and yeah I have some lingering side effects from having had the stroke but I can still function pretty normally and do all the things that I used to do before um, but probably the worst thing is my uh, memory sometimes I lose my train of thought when I'm talking because I remember somebody left a comment on one of my YouTube videos and they were like talk faster well I can't I'm I always was a slow talker anyway I get that from my dad that's how my dad was and um, so sometimes now I lose my train of thought so I have to stop for a minute and think about what I'm saying but anyway uh, I don't know what's gonna happen at this appointment tomorrow but as far as where I'm at right now this is the weirdest thing you guys because they gave me prescriptions for pain medicine and they gave me a prescription for something to relax my urethra which is the tube that you pee out of so that it would make it easier for the stone to pass through because if that tube is relaxed it's less likely to like contract when you uh, have pain and stuff so I've been taking those medicines and then um, well actually I've been taking Tylenol for the pain and I'm allergic to NSAIDs so I can't take aspirin or anything like that but um, I've been taking Tylenol for the pain and then but when I first came home I was still in a lot of pain so I also had to take 
the other medication that they gave me, which is a powerful painkiller. But then all of a sudden, one day the pain just stopped. And also before, when I was at the hospital and I, this all started, I had blood in my urine and I had blood in my urine when I got home. But then all of a sudden the pain went away and there was no more blood in my urine. And I'm like, what's going on? Cause I did not pass this stone. You know, I've been checking every time I go to the bathroom, I've been checking my pee and there's nothing there. So I don't know why the pain would stop if the stone is still in there. And then this morning I started to get mild pain in that same area that caused all the problems before. And I was like, Oh, here we go again. Um, but I think I had read somewhere that when you get pain, that means the stone is moving or trying to move. But then, um, when I started making preparations to film this video, I thought, um, oh God, am I going to even be able to do this video? Because if I'm starting to get pain again, then um, I don't know if I'll be able to do it. But right now, the pain stopped again. And the last time I peed, I did not have blood in my urine. So I don't know what's going on, you guys. Uh, but I hope that when I go to the appointment tomorrow, that it will enlighten me a little bit. Now, I've been reading about what causes kidney stones and what kind of kidney stones there are because they're not all the same. That's why they want you to save the stone if you pee it out and bring it to your doctor because um, they need to know what kind of stone it is so they can advise me as to how to prevent any more stones in the future because different stones are caused for different reasons. So. I guess, um, you know, I'll need to make some dietary changes. And from what I've been reading, some of the foods that I was eating every single day are high in a substance called oxalate. And so just to be on the safe side, I'm not eating any of those <laughs> foods anymore because <clears throat> I don't want to develop any more. Um, cause once I get rid of this, I'm willing to go on any kind of diet they want to put me on so that I never have to go through this again, because you would not believe the pain that I was experiencing when I went to the hospital. I mean, obviously it was pretty bad, right? It was passing out. I was vomiting. Um, so yeah, I will go on any kind of diet they want me to go on now. Um, yeah, so until I pass the stone, I won't know what kind of changes I need to make. But it might not even be diet related. It could just be that I was not drinking enough water. And I think that's very possible because I know I was drinking way too much coffee and not enough water. And that can definitely cause kidney stones. So if I had to guess, I would say that's probably what it was. But it could also be have been my diet because I was eating spinach and nuts every day. And those are two big things that can cause kidney stones. So I haven't been eating any spinach and nuts since then. Uh, but we shall see. Um, after I go to uh, my appointment tomorrow, I will know a lot more about what's going on. But I just wanted to come on here and let you guys know, because I'm sure a lot of you were very curious about what was going on. Now, I just want to mention one thing before I let you go. And that is on those two days that I was pain free and was feeling okay. My husband and I went to Walmart to pick up some groceries. And of course I had to go over and look at the makeup and I bought this, this, what I'm about to show you is such a classic and it is so gorgeous. Um, and it's what I'm wearing on my eyes today. What am I talking about? It's the Maybelline Expert Wear Single Eyeshadow in Tastefully Taupe. This has been around forever, you guys, but it is so beautiful. It's a taupe, but it's a grayish silvery taupe. And um, so it's very cool tone. And I have that on with a couple of other 
eyeshadows. I'll list everything in the description box, but this is like $3 at Walmart, and it's so beautiful. If you like taupe eyeshadow, um, you kind of need this. It's, it's really great. Now, I also have on a couple of shades from my Errand um, 10 color eyeshadow palette in the shade number four, Cement. And I also have a little bit of e.l.f. Um, no Budge Matte Shadow Stick in Thrift Shop. So, yeah, I just wanted to mention that. And when I did that video about the products that I wanted to try to use up this month, I mentioned the L.A. Colors Crystal Lip Gloss. And I what's the name of this pink aura I have this on over my elf cream glide lip liner and pinky swear that's what's on my lips and but like I said everything will be listed in the description box but um yeah um so when 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 I can I will do another video and let you know what's going on and if I continue to be uh, pain free and am able to do it. I want to make videos if I can. So, uh, hopefully, I will be doing another video soon. But, you know, I never know. The pain, it, it comes and goes and it comes in waves of intensiveness. And sometimes it's not that bad. Sometimes it is bad. You just never know. So, I'll do another video as soon as I can. And um, thanks for watching. Bye.